As you can see above me, we have less than 24 hours until it's time for update 12, and I'm here to tell you what you need to be buying in order to make the most out of your diamonds. Now, there is an absolute ton of misinformation going on surrounding this update, so I'm here to clear up some of that information and provide you with the most accurate information that we currently have at this moment. In this video, I'm going to be talking about that information and the leaks that we do have and how that's going to affect the market, and then I'm going to give you some direct recommendations recommendations of things you should be investing in prior to this update. Now, if you want to know what's happening in real time with this update, you're going to want to be joined up on my Discord as our whole community will be here for the update tomorrow, giving you the most accurate up-to-date information on the current metas happening. As well as that, we're also going to be giving away a huge pet every single day this month, so you're definitely going to want to be in there for that. As well as making sure you are subscribed for the most up-to-date pet simulator information as well as strategies. We don't have a lot of time left until this update, so let's Let's get right into it and let me tell you about this market. Now, first up, let's talk about this superior chest mimic leak. So if you missed my video yesterday, we talked about all the brand new leaks that we have currently for update 12, with probably the biggest of those leaks being this brand new exclusive enchant that we're expecting to see in this update tomorrow. Now, there seems to be a lot of confusion about this enchant and specifically because of how it's named. So obviously, there's nobody that can actually tell you what this enchant is going to do. But what we can do is speculate based on all of the information information that we've had from previous enchants being put in the game and how big games implements things. So a lot of people are assuming that because the name of this enchant is the superior chest mimic, that big games is using superior as an adjective, meaning that it's like the better chest mimic. Now, while this does make sense and I can see where a lot of people would think this is the case, Big Games really doesn't use adjectives in the name, but rather Superior seems to be the name of the type of chest that it is. So we could compare this to something like the Boss Chest Mimic. The word boss in the name of this enchant isn't a adjective describing the type of chest mimic it is. The boss is like the name of the actual chest itself. And obviously we know the boss chest is a giant chest, that, which is very different from what a mini chest is, which is what the regular chest mimic spawns. It just spawns those regular mini chests. So in the same fashion, we can expect that the superior chest mimic is going to be spawning superior chests, which are a different type of chest and not the same thing as the mini chest that the regular chest mimic does spawn. Now, this isn't to say that this enchant won't be good. This could actually be a really good enchant, which we have been needing for quite a while because the past few enchants that big games have put in the game have not been too exciting. So I'm all for this enchant actually being good and potentially even being better than the regular chest mimic. But the only reason why I'm making this distinction is it's very important when it comes to Pet Simulator as a whole. And this can be for a couple reasons, because as you can see in my quests here, I have a quest that says break six mini chests, as well as if we look at the breakables mastery, it's very specifically saying that a lot of these buffs only go for mini chests. And what we're expecting is that the superior chest mimic is going to be spawning superior chests, which is a totally different type of chest, which means that those chests that they spawn aren't going to enable you to fulfill these quests as well as get the buffs from the breakables mastery if you have it maxed already. So all of that really actually plays a huge role in the value of these enchants. So by making that distinction, it's very important to notice that buffs that do benefit mini chests specifically probably won't be affecting this new superior chest mimic. And the reason I say this is there is a ton of people going ahead and buying this mini chest fortune because they believe that this mini chest fortune is going to be benefiting the brand new superior chest mimic. Now, obviously, big games doesn't really do things in a uniform way all the time. So there is a small chance, I guess, that the superior chest mimic will be spawning specifically mini chests but it's extremely unlikely and that's why i don't suggest actually investing in this mini chest fortune as a lot of people are hyping it up because they think this might make the new enchant that we get really good on top of this the mini chest fortune actually doesn't work too well in the first place anyways so even if it did affect this new enchant i don't think it would be worth all that much now, some further evidence about this is that the diamond chest mimic, if we look in the description, it says that destroying a breakable can reveal a diamond mini chest. So it even says the mini chest in the name of this enchant. And if you didn't know, destroying these diamond mini chests actually don't satisfy the mini chest quest at all. As well as it seems that the mini chest buffs that we get from the breakables mastery do not affect it at all. 
So even if the superior chests are technically mini chests, they probably won't be affected by these things. And that's why I say to stay away from this mini chest fortune if you are looking for something to invest in. And besides that, the superior chest mimic is actually the only leaked enchant that we have currently. So at the current moment, with the leaks that we do have, we have no reason to believe that all three of these exclusive enchants are going to leave the shop at all. Now, the only real reason somebody would think this is because of the last chance little wording that they have on the shop. But as we unfortunately learned with the boss chest mimic, those words don't really mean much and big games can still hold them in the shop even after putting that tag on them. Now, obviously, it's still possible we get some crazy last minute leaks about some new enchants or exclusive ultimates. But at the moment, all we have is the superior chest mimic. And it's also extremely possible that big games doesn't remove any of these and just adds it as a fourth item that you can buy in the shop. Which basically adds on a whole nother reason why investing in this mini chest fortune is pretty risky at the moment. Now the only one of these three that actually has some intrinsic value here would be the nightmare ult. And that's going to be because we are actually seeing the backrooms pack leave the shop. Which has actually been confirmed by a dev so... This is pretty much the only confirmed thing that we have gotten so far about the exclusive shop. So because the Nightmare Ult is going to be less accessible, at least because it's leaving this pack, then we could potentially see the value of it rise. And it actually does carry some value because it does give you the chance to drop that Nightmare Fuel. Which if we check over here, we could see the value of it is currently about a million. So... Even though it doesn't drop much, using it actually does give you a little bit of value. So I could see the price of the ultimate rising once it leaves the backrooms pack. And on top of that, if it does leave the exclusive shot, we could probably see the price of it rise as well. Which actually leads me into my specific recommendations for stuff that you can invest in for this new update. With the first of those being the golden exclusive purple cat as well as the blue cat. So if we come in here and look at my recents... Because people have been getting a ton of these things from the Backrooms pack, the overall prices of these are super low compared to all the other golden 95 percenters. And just at the current price that they are now, you can actually make a very decent profit by turning them into these huge blur Dominus eggs. Now, I did make a whole video on this method last week, so go check that out if you want. But all you really need to know is that if you buy these blue cats and the purple cats, and you put them in the huge machine, you will get profit by selling the Blur Dominus Egg. Because these things are worth 4 points each, you basically need 25 of these to make one of the eggs. So if we take 25 and multiply it by the current wrap value of these, which is 6.12 million, that's going to give you 153 million. And these things are actually currently selling for 160 million. So just right there, you can make a 7 million profit pretty easily. And the price of this egg actually has been rising. So overall, I think these are a very good investment. And for some reason, a lot of people have them in bulk because I guess they go through buying the backrooms pack. But besides that, these are also the cheapest golden 95 percenters around. So the value of these will most likely rise, especially because they are finally going limited since the backrooms pack is finally leaving the shop. Which is why that's my first recommendation of an easy way to make profit with this update. And with the same kind of energy, we have our second recommendation, which is actually going to be this corruption enchant. Now with the backrooms pack leaving, we have confirmation that this corruption enchant is going to be going limited. So just off the bat, that is going to be a decent reason why we will likely see the prices of these things rise. But besides that, this enchant actually turns out to be pretty good for breakables that have pretty high health. Now, the reason why this could be a good thing for this update is because a lot of people are expecting that we're going to get some sort of new event or something in the game that actually requires you to do a lot of damage to breakables. Because it seems like Big Games keeps creating new enchants that do additional damage, even though that nobody really kind of needs those enchants currently in the game. So there is some sort of speculation and potential that we do get some sort of new event or something with the new prison in the game that could require us to do some additional damage. So this enchant could become handy for some people. So all of that combined with the fact that it's going limited is why I do think it is a pretty decent recommendation for an investment at this point. It is also a decently cheap enchant, so it's actually pretty accessible in terms of investments. Now, I will warn you, it is hard to find these for wrap at the moment, which is actually probably a good sign that the value of these things will go up. 
And actually on the same note, the Nightmare Orb is going to be leaving the exclusive shop with the Backrooms pack as well. But at the current moment, there's not much use for this enchant at all, so I can't really recommend it because I don't think there's going to be a future use for this enchant. But pretty much anything that goes limited usually tends to go up in value, unless there's just way too much supply, which honestly the Nightmare Orb could have a lot of supply. I don't know how often these things were dropping from the Backrooms pack, but I don't specifically recommend buying these, but I did pick up a few that I found for a good deal. But overall though, I do think these corruption enchants are going to be an overall better long-term investment for you guys. Now my most risky investment advice that I have for you guys are actually going to be investing in the cocktails. Now if we look at the current price of these things, these cocktails are sitting at 73000 and if we look at the chart for these things, the price of these dropped like 70,000 diamonds in just one day, seemingly out of nowhere. And then ever since that day, the price has been steadily dropping, but it's pretty much leveled off at this point. Now, this huge drop can be explained in a few ways, with the first of those reasons being that the mini chest fortune seems to be dropping more of these cocktails than we were getting before. So the more people that are using that enchant is resulting in more supply of these things being in the game. And on top of that, the same day after this big price drop, we got introduced to the Backrooms event, which took a lot of people out of the main world and stopped a lot of people from grinding, which basically stopped the demand for these cocktails as a whole. Now, it is currently my theory that somebody was manipulating these cocktails for the price of them to go down. And then that combined with the mini chest fortune and the fact that nobody really needed these cocktails because everybody was in the back rooms basically just made the price of these things free fall. And there's been no reason for the price to go back up because of that. But why I say this is a good investment right now is because the price of it has basically leveled off. And as you guys know, the backrooms are leaving the game tomorrow, which is going to make everybody start grinding once again. And they are going to be needing these cocktails, which is going to drive demand up like crazy. As well as that, the cocktails are pretty much the best potion, especially for updates, because as you can see, the egg luck as well as the coins are the best in the game for potions, with egg luck being 300 and coins being 200. But with the coins potion, it actually matches the coins 10 potion, which is actually 60k by itself, as well as the egg luck potion, which is only 250%, and this thing is actually 200,000. So the egg luck 10 potion is basically three times the price and it actually gives you less of a buff than the cocktail does. And as you guys know, with updates, egg luck and coins are super important and the prices of these potions tend to go up pretty significantly when an update comes so that people can get all those brand new stat pets and move through the levels pretty quickly. All of that yapping is basically just saying that we could see some major demand coming in the next few days for these cocktails and the price has pretty much leveled off. So I think this might be the perfect time for us to buy these and potentially see some major income. Now, these are definitely the most risky investment that I've told you about in this video. So I wouldn't be spending your last diamonds on it. But if you do find some good deals for cocktails in the plaza, then in my opinion, I think it would be a good time to pick those up as we could see prices rise in the next few days. And I do have a couple more pointers before I end up this video. As I just talked about with egg luck, investing in lucky egg potions as well as lucky egg books is usually a pretty good idea around update days, especially when we are getting new worlds that are going to have brand new stat pets. So that could potentially be something for you guys to look at. As well as that, I always suggest stocking up on some secret keys before an update because usually when we get new items in an update, you can get some of those brand new items in the secret key rooms. So by just stacking up on like 50 of these secret keys, it basically just allows you to potentially get some of these new items when the update just comes out. Because as you guys know, the brand new items in the game usually sell for a ton as people just want to experience the new content as soon as possible. I wouldn't necessarily say that the wrap value of these do rise when an update comes out, but if it does turn out some of the new items are in these secret key rooms, then it can be very difficult to find these keys. So that's why I just suggest you hold on to a little bit just in case that does happen. 
And finally, the biggest thing that's going to probably affect the market in this update is going to be whatever big games decides the new clan battle to be. I think in the last few updates, the clan battle has probably been the biggest determination of what's actually been happening with the market. I actually really enjoyed the glitched gift of clan battle because I think that added a lot to the game, which basically made rich people give all their diamonds to other players, which is pretty good for the economy overall as well as we get some free gifts and some free to play huges. Overall though, I'm excited to see what this new clan battle is gonna be tomorrow, as well as all this new content that we're getting in this update. Now, if you wanna see exactly all of the brand new stuff that we're seeing tomorrow, check out this video I uploaded just yesterday on all the leaks. So I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the new update content and peace out.